First up tonight at 10, closure for the family of Colorado Springs police officer seriously wounded in the line of duty. Officer Jem Giselle shot in the head and survived, but it has been a long and difficult rehabilitation. The man who shot him sentenced today to 45 years in prison. Our Andy Cohen live from the El Paso County Courthouse with more. Andy. Hey, good evening, Rob. Officer Giselle's injury would usually be fatal, but as you said, he miraculously recovered and after multiple surgeries and many months and years of therapy and recovery, he was able to stand in front of the community he served today and say thank you. Thanks for everything. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, all of them, uh, everybody. An expression of gratitude from a life saved. He's strong, he's much stronger than I am, that, that's for sure. He tries harder and harder every day to get better. In early August of 2018, Jem Giselle was one of the first two officers responding to reports of gunfire a few blocks east of Memorial Hospital when he confronted the suspect, Karar al Kamasi. He was shot in the head. Watching Jem has been inspiring, but this is also a healing process for all of us. What I see that he has accomplished throughout these years and months of dedicating himself to getting better and moving forward, I think sometimes we forget that. Jurors convicted Al Kamasi in June of attempted first degree murder, assault, and menacing. District Attorney Michael Allen commended the prosecutors on his team and urged the community to change our hearts toward law enforcement. We're seeing people being violent on a daily basis, on regular stops, and this is the result of, of that sort of mindset, and we've got to stop this sort of behavior in the streets. And Giselle's father, like his son, expressed gratitude to everyone in the community who supported them. With their cards, with their prayers, uh, they felt like we are part of their families. Their sport is just, there are no words I can explain. It's been just wonderful. And some more good news for the family. Jem Giselle is engaged. He and his fiance are looking forward to a wedding day next summer. Rob? Boy, that is great to see. And Andy, uh, what did the family have to say about today's sentencing? Well, they felt that justice was served. Uh, of course, his father said that he would have liked to have seen some more time for the defendant. However, uh, he did say that they feel like they have closed this chapter of their lives and they are ready to move on. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank you. We wish them well in the years to come.